Well, everyone, glad you're here. It's time for evening prayer at St. Peter's. Honored to have you here in our midst and to uh, enjoy your presence. I'm just making sure we're up and online. Give me a moment here. And we'll confirm that. Here we go. There we are. All right. Well, everyone, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. It is a great honor to welcome you home to St. Peter's. Please do check out our YouTube channel as well as our Facebook page. If you are following us live on Facebook, we hope that you will please give us a follow. And always give us your intercessions, thanksgivings, and concerns. We're glad to lift those up. As we close out the day, we give thanks to God that you are here and that we have the opportunity to pray the daily office together. All right, here we go. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins to God. God of all mercy, we confess that we have sinned against you, opposing your will in our lives. We have denied your goodness in each other, in ourselves, and in the world you have created. We repent of the evil that enslaves us, the evil we have done, and the evil done on our behalf. Forgive, restore, and strengthen us through our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we may abide in your love and serve only your will. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through the grace of Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, be not far from us. Come quickly to help us, O God. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me for our invitatory, the third song of Isaiah, together. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has dawned upon you. For behold, darkness covers the land, deep gloom enshrouds the peoples. But over you the Lord will rise and his glory will appear upon you. Nations will stream to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawning. Your gates will always be open. By day or night they will never be shut. They will call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Violence will no more be heard in your land, ruin or destruction within your borders. You will call your walls salvation, and all your portals praise. The sun will no more be your light by day. By night you will not need the brightness of the moon. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalms 64 and 65 will read by full verse responsibly. Hear my voice, O God, and my complaint. Preserve my life from the dread enemy. Hide me from the, secret, me from the plots secret plots of the, of the wicked, from the, scheme from the scheming of the evildoers. Evil who wet their tongues like swords, who aim bitter words like arrows. Shooting from ambush, from ambush and from the flameless. Suddenly they shoot suddenly and without fear. They hold fast to their evil purpose. They talk of laying snares secretly. Thinking, thinking who can see us? Who can search out our crimes? We have thought out a cunningly conceived plot. conceived plot. For the human heart and mind are deep, but God will shoot God's arrow at them. They will be wounded suddenly. Because of their because tongue, of their tongue will he will bring them ruin. All who see, All who them, see them will power. shake with horror. Then everyone will fear. They will tell what God has brought about and ponder what God has done. Let the righteous, the righteous rejoice in the Lord exactly. and take refuge in him. Let all, all the upright in heart glory. Praise is due to you, O God, in Zion, and to you shall vows be performed. O you who answer, you who answer prayer, to you, all, to you flesh all flesh shall overcome. When deeds of iniquity overwhelm us, you forgive our transgressions. Happy are those, who are those whom you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We shall be satisfied with the, by goodness, the goodness of your heart, house, your holy temple. temple. By awesome deeds, you answer us with deliverance, O God of our salvation. 
You are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the farthest seas. By your strength, By your, strength you establish the mountains. You are, you are girded, girded with might. You silence the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, the tumult of the peoples. Those who live at, earth's live at the earth's farthest bounds are awed by your sights. You make the gateways, you make the gateways of the morning and the, and the evening, evening shout for joy. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide the, you provide the people with grain, so you have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly, setting it, settling its ridges, softening it with showers, and blessing its growth. You crown the year, crown the year with your bounty. Wagon your wagon tracks overflow, overflow with richness. The pastures of the wilderness overflow. The hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows close, the meadows close themselves, themselves with flocks. The and valleys deck themselves with grain. They shout and, they sing, shout and sing together, together for joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Galatia. My point is this. Heirs, as long as they are minors, are no better than slaves. Though they are the owners of all the property, they remain under guardians and trustees until the date set by the father. So with us, while we were minors, we were enslaved by the elemental spirits of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, in order to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child. And if a child, then also an heir through God. Formerly, when you did not know God, you were enslaved to beings that by nature are not God's. Now, however, you that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, how can you turn back again to the weak and beggarly elemental spirits? How can you want to be enslaved to them again? You are observing special days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid that my work for you may have been wasted. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle is the Song of Mary, together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you from generation to generation. You have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. A reading from John. Do not work for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For it is on him that God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to perform the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. So they said to him, What signs are you going to give us then, so that we may see it and believe you? What work are you performing? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, as it, is, as it was written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. And Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They said to him, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry. Whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But I said to you that you have seen me, and yet do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me. And anyone who comes to me, I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has 
he has given me, but raise it up on the last day. This is indeed the will of my Father, that all who see the Son and believe in him may have eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear our cry, O God, and listen to our prayer. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And, and grant, grant us, us your salvation. salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people, Let your people, people sing with joy. with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only, only in world you can we live in safety. safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. Guide us, guide us in the way of justice, way of justice and truth. truth. Let your way be known upon earth. You're saving, You're saving health, saving health you among all nations. nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. You're Nor the hope, the hope of the poor be taken, be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain and sustain us, us with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people, and in our time grant us your peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness. Through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. O God and creator of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray for all those in discernment who wonder at the glory of God calling them forward in this life to new chapters of service in their ministry and in their witness. We pray for the repose of the soul of Barbara Slack and for the consolation of her family and friends in her passing from this life to the next. Please join me in the night prayer. Lord, it is night. The night is for stillness. Let us be still in the presence of God. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is dark. Let our fears of the darkness of the world and of our own lives rest in you. The night is quiet. Let the quietness of your peace enfold us, all dear to us and all who have no peace. The night heralds the dawn. Let us look expectantly to a new day, new joys, new possibilities. 
In your name we pray. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks yeah, be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for evening prayer. We appreciate your presence. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Give us that thumbs up if you are watching as well. If you're on Facebook, give us a follow. You'll get notifications of when we're live and also of when we're posting content. That is a great picture of Theo there, Jacqueline. He has joined us in prayer. Good to have him with us. All right, everyone. We will see you tomorrow morning for morning prayer. Reminder, we do not have evening prayer on Tuesdays now because of my doctoral class. But otherwise, we will see you soon. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.